Hello there there. and welcome to another episode of Coding in AL. And today we are going to write to a file. So in the on-prem version of Business Central, if you set um, your target to be on-prem, you can be able to use the file management uh, to write to a file and open a file management or write. You can use that um, this file variable. But I've set my uh, you can use the file, but this is only for on-prem. How can we be able to achieve the same methods like file dot create, where we can write to a file and specify a location uh, for a file, and then uh, create an outstream from this file and add um, and be able to write to that particular file. So we will uh, use the temp blob code unit for our help to help us in writing the in-stream and the out-stream. Uh, so let's define the temp blob and we will need the out-stream to be able to write to a file. So let's initialize this outstream so that it can become uh, to the data type of temp blob, the default encoding of the temp blob. And now use the outstream to write text. So if I write text like this, this is like going to the next line without specifying anything, but it takes in the text. So let me just use outstream dot write text so i'd like to use html uh, i want to write a format of html so the first one is the html file and we will of course uh, at some point need this closing for html so once we have opened the html uh, do we need the body I almost forgot HTML. We need the head and then the title. So I'll copy them again, the two, and change them to head and title, respectively. Head, the head should end somewhere here, and the title. This will be the opening title, and this should be the closing title and the, the title, title i can say testing a file and uh, at this point here we have uh, let me save. save so we, we have the html, HTML head title close the title close the head then the uh, html here but after uh, every line we, we just need, need to have a new line. So this is like um, specifying a carriage return and a line feed. A carriage return will take this cursor to the beginning and a line feed will take it to the next. So this is when you use the right text without specifying any um, text inside, you are basically doing that. So it looks a bit tedious. This code is kind of, oh my, looks, looks so dirty, dirty. with, with a, a lot of repetition, repetition. but, but it's, it's okay. okay. Maybe, Maybe we can, can end it here. here. So to mean that we are writing and closing, but it's so untidy, I believe. But if you are really, you really need to write a, to a file, then this is the way to go. <laughs> okay. Okay, it has reformatted it. I expected that almost. So now here we now need to just write our body. Since our code looks so dirty, I'll just use a little body, the body tag, and then we again close it with uh, the right text, then close the body finally as our norm. Here we'll have the body. Oh, 
Okay, doesn't need to be perfect. Yeah, we'll have the body closed. Perfectionist, yeah. So body, then the the carriage return on line feed body here. Then the we go to the next line. And then have finally we have a paragraph. So this, this is, is a HTML file test. Let let's keep it simple. Uh, if it was a table, then I could just have said, okay, enough is enough. But now again, no need for all these, because at the same time, it will still render the HTML without even having to specify all these, these uh, end-of-line returns. So now we have this HTML, the, our outstream now contains this data. But we'll want, uh, we, we want to download the file using the download from stream. So the download from stream, which takes in an in stream and um, a dialog title uh, that will say download HTML, and the third uh, variable that it takes is the two folder which is not supported by the browser technology to folder and to filter. The browser will use the default um, settings for the download and all that. And the, the final, final thing, thing that we'll need here is uh, the, the file name, which is a text. And uh, so, so here we'll have the file name, the, the two file, file name. So at this point, this is where we need to specify that the file name is our test.html. Like we need to specify the type of the file and define this in stream. And remember now, the in stream here doesn't contain anything. So we can just now transfer the data from the outstream to the in stream using the temp block because at this point the temp block contains the default encoding of the out stream but now we are transferring it to the in stream so uh now it's time to test our application i'll build and run don't worry about the problems i have many other problems for other things that i was testing does not contain a definition for what? Okay. So, so the package, package has been created. I will now run so that we can look at this code unit. Yeah, stream. So the code unit is um, contained in the job, job queues. So I've created a job queue entry to be able to test the code unit. Mm. Job queue categories, come on. I wanted a job queue entry. There's a feature in job queues that we can be able to run the code unit immediately. So here, here is our code unit known as here stream. So we can just run it immediately and be able to see the different changes that you expect so if i go to process and run immediately and run one foreground i am like triggering the on run trigger of the code unit which calls the write to file here and this is our function that will be called via the on run so i am now writing to file so it will create a temporary and recurrent copy of this job and we'll run it once in the background and we just do it uh here is our html file so if, if I, I open it, it there we are this is a html file test it has opened in our browser and, and we have been able, able to create our file, file. you, you can, can change the, the format, format to whichever that you want maybe um a pdf a text file and you'll be able to achieve exactly that uh 
so, so the html, HTML has rendered, rendered. but, but you'd like, like to see the file in the form of um non-rendered HTML. html so this, so this is what has been rendered when i open the file using notepad the html and you can see the way we have been breaking the lines with the right text without adding anything and it has always been appending it downwards so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video uh, may god bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one